don't see any fireworks on the horizon. Have you managed? Yes. Did someone call for backup? Good to see you all on watch again. OCP cannot relieve us of our duties. We are not corporate rats. Yeah. That's right. What's the status? I am going after Wendell. Then we'll get the situation here under control. Don't you worry about it. Everyone, get ready. We must defend our city. And you, Murphy, go get that scumbag. I am underground. Did you find something? The lab. It appears it was set up for the Afterlife Project. So this is where everything went down? Gives me the creeps. But what about Wendell? The place looks abandoned. Be careful. Could be a trap.
Any news? Wendell is not here. I am looking for anything that could help us find him. What about the lab? This is where the bodies were taken. OCP was running their afterlife project here. Becker said it would be a long time before OCP has the technology to make afterlife a reality. The old man made them prepare a functional prototype for this week. Their head scientist was not happy about it. That could explain the quality of most of their products. I think I know where Wendell went. But there is a catch, am I right? To proceed, I must find the code to a locked door. That is police work at its most basic. Your favorite. The scientists did not like working with Wendell. What was Wendell's role in the project anyway? He was coordinator, he hired scumbags, and then overworked the team. In OCP, that position is called executive. I found the door code. I am continuing pursuit. We've escorted the mayor to safety, and now we're gonna join Reed and the rest. There won't be time for chit-chat after that. Robocop, I just connected you to the mercenaries' frequency. You'll be able to hear their messages from now on. That is, if you're close enough. So Murphy, this day ain't over yet. Delta City's first celebrity. Roll out the red carpet. Should he even be here? You better check if the boss man knows about it. Aren't we lucky? This place has everything. Money, buzz, drugs, and women. All at our fingertips. While Detroit is burning thanks to the gang wars. How do you know the rags? Don't be stupid. Wendell would never allow that. I'm telling you, I'm Wendell's right-hand man. So, if he's the king of Della City, then I am the prince. And you know what that makes you? An idiot if I keep listening to your nonsense. Officer, this is not a place for you. There is no order here. Whenever someone shows up and tries to tell us otherwise, we get rid of it like unwanted trash. Is that a shit smear on that mattress? Yep. 
Someone thought it would stop me from stealing it. Sorry, honey, but I don't do roleplay. So I was thinking, what's Delta City? Down to my own well, the first they can't put on this dirty ride. The way things are going, this place won't be finished for another eight years. We'd love to get a great fun. Some like to fight for the front row, but I'm more happy with the rear view. But I asked that dude to bring me a screwdriver, and he came back with a cocktail. What a tool! Alex Murphy, you didn't even give me enough time to miss you. How'd you like my new empire? The most free society there is, where everyone is equal, as long as they have the money. A city full of thieves, drug dealers, and murderers? Is this what you hoped for? The old man's dead. There's no one stopping me from ending you. There is also no one left to finance you. Becker shut down Afterlife. Is that true? I think we can get back to that at a later time. Now where's my lighter? Oh, there it is. After the incident at the mall, I had a duplicate made. That's neither here nor there. Goodbye, Robocop! Huh? Smoking kills. So, you finally took care of that, huh? We'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Gentlemen, I'll leave you to your work. Target acquired. Mission comes first. Let's get this over with. Finish that persistent bastard! It won't take long. Time make the transfer. There won't be a second reminder. Following orders. Going to kill.
has entered the construction site. I repeat, Robocop has entered the site. That wasn't part of the plan. Minor drawback. Cobra assault cannon operatives are getting into position. There's no way past that force. Cobra cannon? Now we're talking. Yes, sir. The best money can buy. Keep going, brave little man! Just a little further!
that so? Everyone stand down. What are you doing? Why did you stop? That is not what I pay you for! Turns out you don't pay us at all. What? The money transfer didn't go through. We will settle this. Have your machines fight your battles for you. We don't work for free. No hard feelings, Robocop. Just business. I have bigger fish to fry. You ungrateful fucks! You closed the door on the most ambitious project in this goddamn city! Surrender, or there will be trouble. I still have an army that will fight no matter what. So, Robocop, prepare to meet your demise! Now there is trouble. This isn't over! Stay away! Stay the hell away! Dead or alive, you are coming with me. You will regret throwing this opportunity away! Useless fucking machines! Can't you see? OCP is lying to you! I was the only one who was frank with you from the start! You can't win this. Not while OCP still stands. There is nowhere else to go, Wendell Antonowski. That's not even my real name. OCP gave me that identity. They knew evoking your past affects you. They wanted you emotional to better manipulate you. You keep sacrificing yourself, and that's admirable. But at some point, you have to ask yourself, for what? For the city that wants to witness your downfall? Or for the company that keeps sabotaging you? Join me. Together we can hold OCP accountable. Another empty promise. You hunt criminals down. Oh, let's make a stand against the biggest criminal of them all. It's time for you to stop obeying OCP and start putting yourself first. Locking you up is putting myself first. Oh, that would be a mistake. I am only human. Then why don't you die like one? Is it done? Is Wendell Antonowski... Dead. What about the city? Everyone pulled through. We've got it under control, I think. We just got here moments before you. People are exhausted and trying to catch a little sleep. But I'm sure they would prefer catching up with you. I will keep that in mind. And Murphy. Good job. So it's true. He's dead? I am sorry that it did not happen in front of cameras. That's all right. There's always another story. But tell me this. You killed the guy who started this all. 
exposed UEDs for what they are and made sure they won't replace cops. You contained the riots and at least postponed the creation of Delta City. What is your question? After doing all that, why is no one celebrating? That is not why we do this. What a thankless job. Actually, maybe that's a story worth pursuing. Would Channel 9 be interested? Funny you should say that. I'm considering jumping ship. I realized that blindly chasing a story that would nail OCP made me hurt a lot of people who didn't deserve it. Mainly you. There's this local paper that does what I always said I wanted to do. They help people in the community and give them a voice. Oh, and it probably wasn't clear, but I tried to hide an I'm sorry somewhere in all this. Noted. I'm glad. See you out there, Robo. You will. <sighs> Seriously, man, I'm done for. Oh, I get ya. You caught me sleeping at the desk. It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. Will that stop you from sending in another application? What? No, never. You can count on my recommendation, officer. <laughs> you do that for me? <sighs> I don't know what to say. Thank you, Robocop. It's been an honor. So, Antonowski finally got what he deserved. Damn right! No escaping the grave. I'm so tired I can't move a muscle. Oh, that's a shame, cause the guy from the Holy Cow joint he came by earlier and left a tray of burgers in the staff room as a thank you for our work. Shut your mouth! It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. Usually I'm a little anxious about leaving my patients. But these past couple of days I've gotten to meet some of the people in your world. Despite your circumstances, you've made a good life for yourself, Alex Murphy. I'm confident in saying that I'm leaving you in good hands. Thank you, Doctor. You know, I've been selected to join the Committee on Integration of Cybernetic Organisms into Society. I think it's important for people to know what I've learned here with you. I'll pass my conclusions along, and I hope OCP will do right by you. At least this one time. Goodbye, Alex. You don't look so hot. Was your neighborhood affected by the riots? I don't know. Once they begin, I was too afraid to leave this place. I locked myself in a storage locker. I get it. I probably do the same. We got Wendell. Over the course of our relationship, I've grown enough to admit that it was mostly you who took down Wendell. So, good job, Tin Man. That guy brought a lot of suffering to this city. 
The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. First time doing something selfless. And last. I'm exhausted. I don't know how you do it. I had to help myself to a little pick-me-up that I found in the property room. You guys confiscate a lot of good stuff. That is not something you should say to me. Then I shall not say anything anymore. My medicine is starting to kick in anyway. Later, Tin Man. Robo, Lewis was looking for you. She's in the locker room. That you, partner? You're back. So it's done. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you gonna stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. A lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. Another woman? Dr. Blanche, seems that you two spent a lot of time talking together. I'm glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are. Your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. Oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am, who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Lewis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. I'll get my gear. You've got to see this! Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos. Most importantly, who is going to stop it? I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. At least we have chopper support. Huh, no such luck. That's a TV helicopter. They're here already? We have wounded. What happened here? It... It was furious. It destroyed everything in its path. What did... A monster! Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. For sure. Positive. You heard him. Let's evacuate everyone. Hurry up. Murphy. 
We're finding more and more wounded, and they're all giving me consistent descriptions. So unless everyone is getting it wrong, there's an old friend waiting for you upstairs. You can expect... Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. I see you. That thing just moved to the western corner of the executive floor. It's... it's something. I... Are you getting this? All of it. That's the OCP board you're seeing. They were supposed to vote on the new CEO. I guess someone didn't like the candidate they chose. OCP is finished after this. What do you want from me? Robocop! My number one guy! There seems to be a misunderstanding. Robocop! I wanted to leave you a message before I undergo this procedure. It has been a long and laborious process, but it has given me the opportunity to observe you closely. The old old man! Uh, that you! I I didn't know! I I, I didn't mean to! Only now do I truly understand what others see in you. I realize why they cheer you on. And it is because they can look past your metal exterior and see that somehow you haven't lost your humanity. That puts my mind at ease. You made me realize that I do not have to fear what is about to happen. I can remain human, as you have. Selfless and devoted to something bigger than myself. Uncorruptible. And that what I always strive to be, Good luck, Murphy. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. You sold the city's future. That leaves one question. <laughs> Scrapyard or prison, creep. Just an old friend.
You will not win this. Oh my 
Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City, Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. The city's debt has reached a new peak. Re-elected Mayor Kuzak, asked about his plans for reform, said he had other plans instead. OCP is the weakest it's ever been. We'll sue them even if we need a Japanese lawyer, he assures us. Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters, where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. An escaped python terrorizing the local neighborhood has been reunited with its owners. But that wasn't the only thing that was returned. X-ray of the reptile's insides has shown the stolen watches together with the remains of the thief himself. Pickles, a local addict, was so intoxicated with nuke that the drug was absorbed by the python, which explains its bizarre behavior. Isn't that food for thought? Next up. Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists. After trying to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP, Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denies... We're sorry for the disturbance. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Moving on, the owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? Mayor Kuzak distances himself from Robocop and leaves no doubt that he will not be advocating for granting him human rights. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I hope OCP doesn't take him off the street. Who will protect us then? Ah! It's Robocop! Robo! I love you! speaker. To many more years on the force, Robocop. It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? 
That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time. Thank you.